What is up guys? My name is Billy. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss anything new. And if you feel like it, follow me on Instagram. It's where I post all my content. In this video, I'm taking you through a sketchbook tour. I don't know if you can call this a sketchbook. It's more like an art portfolio. Uh, but this is basically a duration of two years um, of me just kind of adding to this portfolio. Um, any, I've drawn a lot more than what I'm about to show you, but I guess anything that I drew that I thought was worthy of being behind a plastic film, I put it in there. So I guess I'm just gonna start from the beginning when I first started. Not really when I first started, but when I first started adding to this, which was about two years ago. Maybe not that long ago. Just about two years. And until actually just yesterday when I made a SpongeBob, purple SpongeBob. You can check that video right here. But yeah, I'm not gonna waste too much time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thanks for watching. All right, to start it off, we got a Goofy and Donald Duck that I did a while back. This is really when I first started experimenting with like character creation. I would just use pencil. I didn't use a whole lot of, you know, fine liners and markers or any of that stuff. I just like using pencil and you know, learning how to shade, I guess, correctly. And by no means am I a master, but learning kind of the uh, skills of shading as a beginner helped me kind of transition with markers. And um, I, I really enjoyed drawing with pencils in general, and I still do. And SpongeBob and uh, Squidward there, that's some, some two characters that I practiced a lot when I first started out and I still really love incorporating them into my drawings they're just su such classic cartoons and Spongebob is hilarious even more so as an adult and I just love it and then uh, as, as you can see the stitch on the other side I was pretty happy with him again I did them both with pencil I think just one shade of pencil too and this these two as well Courage the Cowardly Dog the scariest cartoon on the face of the earth they'll never make another cartoon like it and uh, yeah you know I like to draw that stuff. It resonates with me. And then that guy in the in the van shirt, the sunglasses. That's me. Well, I don't know. That was my interpretation of me. I don't know. I'm a real Chad. And we got a half-assed Cinderella that I never finished. I think that's Cinderella, right? Yeah. Um, and then an eyeball on the other side. I don't draw too much eyeballs, but you know, I felt like drawing one that day. And uh, I didn't feel like doing the other one because I can never get them to match. Throw down in the comments if you have an easy tactic to uh, draw twin eyeballs. And if you're a true Disney fan, you know exactly who this is. That evil, evil lady Yzma from Emperor's New Groove. The most underrated Disney movie on the planet. But yeah, done with one singular pencil. Pretty cool. So this is at the point where I actually got into alcohol-based markers. I started experimenting a little bit more. Uh, this is like a helmet, like a space helmet that I did. That like moon, that moon drawing in there in the center of his helmet is supposed to be a reflection. I know it doesn't really look like it, but yeah, this was one of my first ones. Um, moving on, we have Buzz Lightyear, <laughs> or it's it's Emperor Zerg holding like toy Buzz Lightyear and uh, one of those little aliens. Now we have a Rick, a Rick, a Rick from Rick and Morty holding. Hey, you, you can you can tell. There's a portal gun inside, and he's got his Szechuan sauce, of course. I love Rick and Morty. The dark humor tickles me. Moving on, we got a uh, some kind of lighthouse that I made. Uh, I was really happy actually with the with the uh, color gradient of the sky in the background and, and the the contrast that I was able to get with those different shades of green because I did use like three or four different shades of green to get that one and then we got a, like a collage style that I that I started getting into I started drawing like putting all these characters into these collages that I really just like watching the page explode with like color it's really it's really nice because when I first started out, like just using pencils was kind of my niche and I really enjoyed it and I, I didn't think I was going to stray away from that, but since I found these markers, I really love adding color and vibrancy to my illustrations. Got a little Timon and Pumbaa 
drawing there it says no new friends there and it has like kind of whacked out evil versions of them and then uh have a hanya mask which is a jealous japanese demon and i have that tattooed on my right arm but i just wanted to kind of change styles a little bit draw something like that something asian culture inspired and here we have the best version of Max, the one dressed up as the Powerline uh, singer. I wanted to be him so bad as a kid. I don't know what it was, that concert at the beginning, it just hit me. It was so good. And a cool little zombie I made, I don't know if that was last Halloween or what, but I really like how the uh, his skin tone came out. He's chopped in half, bro. And looks like I made a Nike shoe. I really like the dimensions on how that came out. I struggled to draw like shoes when I was first starting. And I still, I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I struggle to draw a lot of things, but uh, I like how the shoe came out. And then I have Meg and Hercules there giving each other love. Um, moving on, there's a cool little Lilo and Stitch like stained glass drawing that I made using alcohol markers. So all these are made with alcohol markers. I'm not gonna keep saying that, geez. But then there's a dragon there. I actually really love how this dragon came out. I was able to get a real good feel of depth on his overall like skin tone. Um, the clouds kind of remind me of Dragon Ball Z and that rainbow behind him. Mwah, juicy fruit, I love it. Kind of made him drawing like a yin and yang. I love, the, I love the symbolism that the yin and yang represents really awesome so I'm actually that's one of my favorite that's one of my favorite uh, drawings in this portfolio do you see me with my phone like an idiot man yeah no but definitely top three favorite illustrations that I've made definitely goes to this dragon flip flipping the page next up we got two more pages of these crazy doodles again you know I just I, sometimes I can't figure out what to draw so I kind of just incorporate it but recently I've kind of I've had you know more closely knitted themes to my drawings they're not all random and whatnot um, but a lot of what I was doing at first was just trying to really nail the characters like right, getting their proportions right and their eyeballs right and it's just really hard it's, it's I think it's definitely harder than it looks and I guess for every semi-decent picture that you see here, I promise you there's like 20 absolute trash drawings that I have that you don't know about. Got a little insp inspirational drawing there. I don't know, I was feeling constitutional that day, I guess. Um, then we have a, like a hybrid. I drew pencil, you know, within that triangle there and then everything else is alcohol marker on the genie and the, on the Mickey. Did a one marker challenge where I just used green. <laughs> And uh, I thought that came out pretty cool. I didn't think it was gonna have that much contrast, but I think I did all right. Got some SpongeBob's with Miss Puff sweating her ass off in the middle, and uh, and uh, Luigi. Luigi's better than Mario. He always was. He could always float, f float further. You know what I'm saying? It was almost like cheating when you were using him. But happy with how that came out. And then I had like a two, three marker challenge where I just used pink and purple, and I did like a Nickelodeon thing pretty dope here's a dope Disney drawing I would label it where they're all smoking um, and then a uh, fall guys I did like a custom costume fall guy illustration I don't know pretty cool game I wanted to see if I could make some different alternative costumes for them and this is where I kind of started getting more structured and linear with my uh, with my design so like here I have courage and then I have all of the well, some of the Kurdish villains behind him. As you can see, Fred there. That crazy zombie that says, Return the slab or suffer my cur... That dude is so creepy, yo. Um, yeah, just a Halloween feeling vibe on both pages with that. And then here we got some coronavirus-inspired drawings. Um, yeah, tis the season, right? So I made a coronavirus doodle, and then I made a like a sequence of characters all wearing like masks and whatnot. As you can tell, SpongeBob's got that hazmat mask on, and Sandy's already got a bowl on her head. And I don't know what I was doing with with Mermaid Man. His his nose is covered, but his mouth is straight open. He's getting it for sure, for sure. 
flipping the page. We got a black slate. But this was a Charizard that I did. Um, actually, it was a tutorial video. And uh, yeah. I just felt like drawing a Pokemon. Should put him, probably put him behind the plastic to keep him safe. Keep him safe in my Pokeball portfolio. But Charizard's cool among Ghastly and some others. He's probably my favorite Pokemon. Oh yeah, and here's a little off-brand purple SpongeBob that I made. But uh, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other sketchbooks and stuff. If you'd like for me to do this again, let me know. But comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Have an awesome day.